The best tip and advice that I can give you today is very simple. Stop picking up people from bars. Let me repeat that. Stop picking up people from wineries. Stop, pe pe stop picking up people that are drunk. It is not your job to babysit them. And remember, the driver app removed 70-80% drunk driving. You want to get back at these app companies? You want to get back at these Sil Silicon Valley billionaires? Stop picking up drunk people. When you stop picking up drunk people... Uh-oh. You want me to go how long? Yeah, I'm not even going to read that. But hey, it's good. It's warming up, guys. It went from $7 to $10 to $13, which is good news. Stop picking up drunk people. That is my advice to you today. And hey, I'll fight you in the comments for this, like Jeff says, right? I will fight you in the comments over this. Because I realized something. You stop picking up drunk people, what are they going to do? They're going to drive home drunk. They drive home drunk, they're going to do something crazy. They're going to do something stupid. And guess what? Enough bad happens, enough crazy happens, then society will wake up. And when society wakes up, what do you think is going to happen? These app companies have to change. They have to respect us. Do you know that 70-80% of drunk driving got removed in the last 10 years because of Uber drivers, because of Lyft drivers? There's somebody behind me. I got to move. I got to move. I got to move. I put my glasses on. I can't drive without my glasses. Now I gave um, the algorithm a little bit of a hint. I'm out of here. Deuces, bro. I'm going to Costco. And if you give me something where you want me to drive back that's been sitting in the container for $40 or $30, I'm not going to do it. Because if I'm not making money, Uber algorithm, you're not making money. And if you're not making money, your CEO is going to get fired. And your CEO is definitely going to get fired if I have 522 followers on my subscription and YouTube. And let's say 100 of them start listening to what I have to say and they start following my techniques. Guess what? That's 100 more people or 500 more people that are driving a little bit smarter and a little bit wiser, wiser, right? Trust me, it is going to catch up to these guys. The more we stick together, the less money they make, they'll start listening to us. Because that's all they care about is money. Just process that for yourselves, right? And think about it. One, stop picking up drunk people. Two, slow it down. When they don't make money, yes, we don't make money, right? But the less they make, the worse their stock is. Then those CEOs are gonna get fired. And when they get fired, they'll make changes. Trust me, they'll make changes. Let me introduce you to Mr. Jeff. Jeff Watts, my friends, and check this out. Oh yeah, Uber's in timeout in the background, but listen to him for a second. Oh, driving the webs, and I had to make a video on Amazing Hustler, man. Dude, this has been, hey, it's been, a, that's what I'm saying, it's been a crazy week. A lot of YouTubers making videos about other YouTubers. The shit's comedy, though. It's comedy to me to sit back and watch all of us. Some of us do watch each other's content. Like when I watch somebody's content, I really watch it. Like, I I mean, I have it playing on my laptop on the speaker system in the kitchen. So I'm cooking. I got the content playing. Commercials pop up. Shit, I don't fuck with it. I just let it run. All right. It is time to take Uber out of timeout. We're going to turn it on. If you watched my video yesterday, you will know that this was a hot spot for me. But it was a Friday, right? Now it's 7 o'clock. Um, I'm not going to hit the airport. But we're going to stay here. And um, just see see basically what happens in the background. And I got to do a little bit of work. I got to get my thumbnails ready so I can start uploading them. And I'm listening to Jeff's podcast in the background. The dude is smart and he's hilarious. And honestly, giving great content. Great content to drivers. And honestly, even if you're not a driver, you can listen to what he has to say because he gives you logic and he tells you, you know, how to be a man. He tells you, like, how to think and how to not be a slave mentality. Not be, but you know what I mean. How to not have slave menta mentality. And I love it when he talks about plantation. Um, dude, the guy is good. You should check it out. Now, the app is on. I'm going to double check my settings. Uh, we'll turn the pets on and we're good to go. We'll give it a little bit of time. While it's doing what it's doing, I'm also going to put in Mission Inn. That's basically the place that I'd like to go to. So Mission Inn, Hotel and Spa is basically, um, I don't know, downtown Riverside. It's right next to the convention center. It's an easy way to get there. Uh, UC Riverside is right here. Um, I think it's Saturday. Um, I think it's worth going. Um, I, I think there's no traffic right now. So I think this is the proper route to go. Um, if there's traffic sometimes over here, 
Um, I'll take an exit on Central and go this way because in Canyon Crest and Victoria, there's hills and, and people have land, like five acres, they're rich people. So if you're closer and you drive that way, it takes a little bit longer, but there's a potential for uh, an opportunity. And that is the first opportunity out here by Costco. Same thing, low balling. We're not gonna take anything. We have rules. And and in the background, I'm working. I'm working on my thumbnails. So for me, there's no rush, no rush at all. This is the second one that popped up. Um, so the amount went lower, that is okay. I'm actually done with most of my thumbnails. Literally, this is the last one I gotta work on, which is with the date. But all my thumbnails are done for today's videos on one of my channels. And I am on my way. We waited. Time is 7.15. So it's been about an hour and a half since I started this morning. No rides, nothing worth taking. So next is uh, UC Riverside. But my thumbnails are done. And uh, this is my third video that I'm almost done with. Alrighty, I took an exit next to UC Riverside. We will give these young kids about five, 10 minutes uh, to pop in. We're gonna turn the app on and see if uh, Auntie Uber has something to offer. Actually, it's already showing me downtown Riverside. There is a possibility, right? That's not too far away. And so, excuse me, instead of the freeway, I will go straight down University Ave, but I always like to give um, the kids out here a little opportunity here and listen to what Jeff has to say because I've been listening to his podcast in the background I'm 30 minutes in it's a really good one uh, and if you want to find out um, this is uber what what is his name uber jeep Arizona right mr. Jeff right it's right here um, and on top of that just search for this January 11th 2024 podcast crazy content week hilarious live stream okay Ooh, where are you taking me? No, I don't want to go towards Lake Matthews. There's no money over there. Thank you, though. Hey, you're going up from $7 to $10. You're at $11. Just get to $15, Uber, and I'll take it. If that was $15 to Lake Matthews, Uber, I might have considered it. Hopefully, you're paying attention. But we're going to ignore that. We're going to go back to Jeff. Uncle Jeff. All right, dude, this guy's funny. Listen to the advice that he gives you right here, and then we'll talk about it for a second. Roast for the week. My gross for the week, it, it could just add up slowly. It could add up fast. But I always try to say the profits are what you trap in your bank account. Those are your profits. Because if you're out there, you know, spending money and, and only showing your gross, but at the end of the week, you're not coming up with no profits, you need to let people know that at the end of the month, after I'm paying all my bills, all my fuel, all tires I bought, everything I bought, this is what I got left in the account right here. And my account goes down because I've spent a lot of money on shit and I don't make it back. So I got to buy water. Did you hear what he had to say? The profits are what you trap in your bank account. So whatever's in your bank account, whatever's in your savings, those are your profits, right? Everything else is basically um, your overhead or your debt or whatever you wanna call it. For example, in my situation, most of my credit cards are paid off. I keep everything on one credit card and roughly it's at around $10,000. My savings, are around $4,000 that I've put away with a family member for emergency, right? I'm trying to get that $4,000 to $6,000, right? 6,000 means I have two months worth of emergency money. God forbid Uber deactivates me. Now the $10,000 on um, the credit card, it was paid off. My credit card was actually all the way down to $2,000, $3,000. Unfortunately, I cracked the window um, I wasn't able to drive Uber because I couldn't pass um, the Uber, um, uh, you know, they have an inspection. I couldn't pass it, so I couldn't drive for two weeks, so I had to cut into my credit card a little bit. Then I got deactivated for something stupid, and I couldn't drive. It actually was my fault. I was late in child support, and because I was late in child support, Uber deactivated me for almost three weeks. It took me three weeks to get back on the platform. Oh my God. So right there was at least two, $3,000 of income I fell behind and I had to live off my credit cards. So my point is this, whatever Jeff is saying on his YouTube channel, follow it. All right, now we're gonna stop this. Um, my third video and in the background, I'm gonna work on my next set of thumbnails for my other YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. Remember about one thing about my YouTube channel. 
don't go after these eight dollar rides right just relax take it easy there's no stress it's saturday it's 7 30 in the morning you know these students are asleep oh there's a homeless person right there you know these students are asleep they're not up which way are you taking me no i don't want to go that way i don't there's no money over there right right so Uber's gonna keep lowballing you, but learn to drive the proper way, nice and slow. If this $8 ride was towards downtown Riverside or towards Ontario Airport, I would have taken it, right? Because, oh, it's getting busy. It's getting busy, right? And um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. So that's three, th three times it popped up. Once or twice it popped up at Costco. So there's at least five opportunities, all under $15. I'm not gonna take it, right? I'm gonna keep focusing on my YouTube channel. Now, I was I was on a train of thought when it popped up, it messed me up. Give me one second. Damn, I'm getting old, I forgot. But you know, when it comes back to me, it'll be in the next video. Um, it's heating up, right? It knows I'm about to leave right here, right? So this is all in the container. If you've been watching my videos, there's another one. Okay, this one is going in the direction I possibly want, right? Uh, but no, once I get there, there's nothing there. So that's five rides that just popped up, right? We're not going to take it, right? But this is good news. When five rides like this pop up, you know I'm at the right place at the right time. Am I patient enough to allow all of these shitty rides to go through before the big one pops up, right? Now, that's where you have to ask yourself. Now, I was going to say something else. I totally forgot. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. You know my drill. 8 to 12 minutes is what I like. This is what I've noticed. You guys watch around 4 or 5 minutes of my video and then you get bored. So, 8 minutes is a good spot because we can put ads on it when we can monetize. 12 minutes is, is, is good, right? And then when you put this together, this is my third video that's going to get uploaded, right? So, 12, 12, 12, this 36 minutes. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Listen, I'm driving real time, right? So if you follow me, and I know there's about 50 of you that follow me and 10 of you really love my, my content because I know you comment all the time. You're in my WhatsApp group and we were chatting and, and we're discussing strategy. Actually, my next video, I'll start with WhatsApp group. There's a couple of good tips that Mark and Frank and um, I forget, there's, there's a couple of people in there that are talking and they give information. There's a really good tip in there from Mark. He's a driver from San Diego, actually Mexicali. I post stuff real time for you guys, which means if I'm doing good, you're doing good. If I'm doing bad, maybe you're doing good, maybe you're not. But if you're on your WhatsApp group and you're letting me know, that's how we know what the flow and the energy is like on this app, right? And I'm like to end it with this. It's 7.30. People are not going to wake up till maybe 9, 9.30. Saturday and Sunday, the driving is different. I like to get out early. I like to work on my YouTube channel. I like to get my podcast started. And I'm building something, right? I'm building something and I'm building a tribe and a community with other drivers with the skills that I have, which is blogging, podcasting, YouTubing, right? And content creation. And hopefully, I've motivated two or three of you to start making your own YouTube channel. And hopefully, you come onto my school or you come onto my Patreon, which is linked in the description, and you take it to the next level. Like, whatever I'm doing, you have to understand. YouTube is ultimately going to make me money and retire so I can drive less Uber. When I can drive less Uber, I can have a better lifestyle, right? Lifestyle is good right now. Like, I'm right outside Denny's. I can go eat. I can go do my walking and stretching that I haven't done for today. I can meditate again, right? But, you know, I want to see if I can get to downtown, get my first passenger, get some money rolling. It always feels good. If not, then now that I've missed the 7.30 at the Ontario airport, maybe there's a trucker out there that needs a ride. So I'm still going to slowly keep inching away and get to Ontario airport, right? Just drive nice and slow, nice and slow. 28 miles, $0 to call for it, but I can't change that. Have a blessed day and let me know in the comments if there's anything else I can improve or teach you about driving, teach you about spirituality, or teach you about real-time content creation. Those are the three things that I focus on on my YouTube channel and actually all three YouTube channels.